one branch of the D.C. government taking another branch to court. Yeah, Brianne Carter live in Northwest this morning with the details on this story. Brianne? Well, Jimmy, the two sides at odds, the council and the mayor, and later this morning here in court, while the two sides will face off here before a judge, the judge will hear oral arguments in this case and what is going to be about the budget, specifically budget autonomy. Now, what they will be discussing is a referendum passed back in 2013, an amendment that would amend the city's contract to give the city more of its own spending authority. Now, the mayor and the council at odds over this issue. Now, we do know that they both support budget autonomy, having more control over their own funds with less approval from Congress. But now how to go about it? Well, we see now these two sides are at odds over this specific issue. Now, the referendum, the mayor, we understand that was passed. The mayor has refused to implement the changes that were passed by that, giving that amendment to the city charter. A lawyer representing the mayor has told the Washington Post in the past that a change like this should have been done in a different way and that he has concerns about this now, about implementing it and how it would affect possible city contracts or spending laws. We understand a lawyer representing the council, though, plans to defend this amendment to the city charter here in court later today. Budget autonomy has been a big issue in the city and will continue to play out here in court later today. Reporting live, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News. All right.